What kind of company can have only 11 employees but still generate an annual income of over 200 million US dollars? What is the secret to Midjourney's success? Hello everyone, I'm Lionel. First, please take a look at an image, and then here's a clickbait style question. Has Trump been arrested? Wait a moment. This is just an AI generated image, it's fake. But at first glance, it does look somewhat believable, doesn't it? This is an image created using the Midjourney platform. Midjourney, as a representative of generative AI art images, quickly gained popularity in the AI community as early as the end of last year. With just a piece of text, it can create images at the level of professional illustrators or painters with details and effects that are truly remarkable. A lot of media has highlighted the magical aspects of the images generated by this platform. Let's take a look at what kind of images AI can generate through simple text and parameters. The level of maturity in the generated images matches that of any professional artist. Some of them are so realistic that they are very close to actual photographs. There is an abundant tutorials online on how to use Midjourney, so I won't go into that further here. However, when I learned that Midjourney has only 11 full-time employees without any product managers or marketing managers, yet generates an annual revenue of over 200 million US dollars, wow. I became curious about the people behind the company who are involved in its operations. Midjourney's founder is David Holtz, who was previously one of the founders of Leap Motion. Leap Motion was a well-known company in the virtual and augmented reality field and was acquired by Ultra Haptics in 2019. In addition to Holtz, other members of the team are also prominent figures in the industry. Jim Keller was the chief architect of the AMD K8 microarchitecture and has been involved in chip design at companies like AMD and Apple. Nat Friedman was the former CEO of the renowned developer platform GitHub and is also a well-known investor. Philip Rosedale is the founder of the virtual life game, Second Life. With this group of individuals who have successful experiences in IT, gaming, and the capital industry, it's no wonder that Midjourney was able to quickly establish itself on the right track. Let's take a look at how this primarily engineering-focused company operates. Midjourney started by collaborating with Discord right from the beginning, integrating their product within this platform. Discord is a community for text and voice communication, bringing together a large number of gaming enthusiasts. The advantage of this approach is that by leveraging the existing user base of the platform, Midjourney can quickly identify product bugs and increase product exposure and user engagement. Midjourney opened its public testing version on July 22, 2022. Holtz mentioned in an interview in August of the same year that the company had already begun making profits. Furthermore, as of this June, Midjourney has amassed over 16 million registered users. If we compare it with Twitter, it took Twitter almost two years to reach 10 million registered users, while Midjourney managed to hit the 16 million mark in just six months. Of course, the entrepreneurial journey faces many challenges. There have been ongoing controversies surrounding copyright and content review issues in the realm of content generative technology. Midjourney has maintained a secretive stance regarding the inner workings of their AI system. It's quite unusual compared to other AI developers as you won't easily find their source code information in public domains. However, based on similar AI image generation applications like Dolly 2 and Stable Diffusion, it's likely that they trained the AI models to learn the connections between images and texts, and the vast data sets are probably gathered from the internet. All the time, Midjourney has been criticized as an ethical and copyright black hole. In fact, several AI image generation companies, including Midjourney, have recently faced possible lawsuits from a few artists. These artists claim that these companies have trained their AI models by using their creative works without permission. This situation is quite common in the field of content generating AI, as training models requires an extensive amount of data, inevitably leading to a series of issues. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, is also facing similar accusations. However, these events are still in the early stages and await further developments to take shape. Midjourney's current commercial success could indeed foreshadow a trend for the future. In the era of AI, company operations require fewer human resources. People can form small teams, collaborating with machines, and leveraging cloud platforms to offer products and services to large audience. Utilizing AI technology, these small but profitable ventures are likely to sprout out more in the days to come. Well, so let's keep observing and see what's going to happen next.